What's up, guys? It's your boy Mike. Today, we're talking about Blue Period Volume Number One. I picked this up the other day at the used bookstore. Got done reading it, and I want to talk to you guys about it. So let's get started and see what it was all about. For you guys who are unfamiliar with the manga, maybe you haven't seen the anime, Blue Period is about the main character you see on the cover. His name is Yatora Yaguchi, I believe is how you say it. I'm probably butchering your name, bro. I do apologize. That's the best I can do. But uh, Yatura is going to try to make it into art school. He has no talent, really. He's going to try to become an artist to learn skills and make it to this um, art school that's very hard to get into. Not because it's like a private school or very expensive, but it's one of the cheapest art schools to go to. Everyone's trying to make it there. So the competition is very high and the space is very limited. So we're going to go on this journey with Yatura and we're going to find out whether or not he gets into this school. All right, guys, you're probably wondering how the hell does Yatoru become passionate about art because he wasn't always passionate. There was a point where he's even arguing with one of his classmates about how going to art school is super expensive and a waste of time because you're not guaranteed a job. He basically tells this person, um, you're going to come out of art school, dead broke, no job. How are you going to make a living? You're wasting your time. There's no point to this. And yeah, he's really against it. But one day during art class, we're giving an assignment. Uh, nobody really wants to do it from him and his buddies. Um, one of his buddies even says, you know what, I'm going to drop my girl's boobs. The teacher hears him. She's like, okay, that's perfectly fine. Make sure you get the curvature, the dimensions, the jiggliness. We want all the details in the painting. He kind of trips out. I was like, oh, wait, I could do that? She's like, yeah. He starts painting his girl's boobs. Yatura doesn't do a damn thing. He just goes home at the end of the day, forgets his cigarettes during class. So he goes back to school to pick them up. And uh, when he gets to art class, they're having art club. There's this huge painting on like these two angels or something. And he's just standing in front of it in awe. He's mesmerized. He really loves this painting. He finally grabs his cigarettes. He goes home. He's still thinking about this painting. The next day, he goes back to school. The girl that painted the painting is there. He tells her, you know what? I really like it. You're very gifted and talented. And she gets pissed off at this guy. She's like, what you just said offends me because I put a lot of hard work into my craft. I learned different techniques and methods. You know, I'm trying to perfect my... Uh, color mixings and stuff like that and for you to say that i'm good because i'm gifted or talented yeah like i don't put a lot of hard work into this so a little light bulb goes off in his head he's like ding he's like wait i put a lot of hard work and effort into my other classes i get straight a's and uh you mean i could put a lot of hard work into this and become a great artist like i don't have to be naturally gifted and talented so he sits down and starts working on their project he did not want to do he draws Shibuya. I guess it's a real place because Alice in Borderlands talks about Shibuya as well. And he gets all these blues, starts mixing them and stuff, and starts, you know, doing his artwork. At the end of the class, he starts critiquing one another's work. He gets a lot of compliments, and he feels really great about himself because, you know, he gets straight A's, but he's never really been passionate about any of the classes. But for the first time, he feels like he could be really good at something, and he likes the compliments and stuff like that. So that's how, you know, the passion for art comes up. And uh, yeah, that's how he's going to become an art student. So what are some things I like? What are some things I dislike? I'll get into that in just one second. But right off the bat, I want you guys to know, if you're looking for action sequences and kaiju and crazy fight scenes, you're not going to get that from Blue Period because it really is just about your tour trying to get into art school. But you really would enjoy the first 10 pages because he's hanging around his buddies. They're watching sports. The buddy's getting all drunk and dumb. He has to carry him home and stuff. The first 10 pages are pretty damn fun. After that, you'll probably get bored because it really is just about him developing his skills to get into art school. So I want you guys to know that right off the bat, don't expect any type of action in this. Now, one thing I disliked, I really honestly didn't dislike it. It's probably my fault. I was kind of confused by something. And once again, it's probably this dummy's fault right here. Um, he's in high school. All of a sudden, he's at this other school. I thought he graduated, but I think he paid money to go to like um, some type of classes right, to develop his skills further than what his teachers are already teaching him. I think that's what happened. I just was kind of confused and just my fault for not really paying attention. But that's the only negative I have to say about it, to be honest with you guys. Now, I liked a lot of stuff about the manga. If you're into artwork, they have different type of techniques, right? They talk about shading, uh, perspective, and lighting and stuff like that. They tell you how to hold your pencil if you want a thin line, a medium line, a big line. They tell you how to hold your pencil. They tell you the type of length your lead should be and stuff like that. Really cool. Another nice touch is... They obviously have paintings within the manga, but it's not just a random guy who just made something out of, out of his ass, right? There are paintings done by actual students who went to the art schools they talk about within the manga. Pretty cool touch. Very dope. Really enjoy that part. 
right? I really just thought it was a cool creative way how to incorporate art from students, not just some guy drawing something random. Very cool touch. Now, if you're into seeing characters develop, you really will enjoy this because obviously Yatora has no skill. And you just see him develop as an artist little by little. It's actually motivating as well because, you know, he kind of has some crappy art at first, but he keeps going and trying his best and to develop skills and techniques and stuff. Pretty motivating. Anyways, really enjoyed it. I think you guys will like it. Pick it up. Two thumbs up. I'll be getting volume number two for sure. And uh, yeah, let me show you a little bit of artwork real quick. Hold up. Um, once again, I'm not going to show you a lot. I'll probably show you a panel or something. Um, check it out. Right here, we have Yatura. The girl you see right there. I forget her name. I think I wrote it down. Her name is uh, Maru Mori. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Once again, I'm probably butchering her name. She's the one who did the angel painting or whatever it was that motivated Yatora to become an artist. And the guy you see right there is Yatora. So yeah, pretty fun read, guys. Pick it up. Peace out, people. Catch you on the next one. Thanks for checking out the channel. Happy reading. See you on the next one.